morning guys great to see you again back on my channel hope you're all doing well today is uh, gonna be actually a fun day today I'm actually doing a full-on meal it's about 7 30 in the morning that's I'm just taking a little hike here through Steckle Park it's cold according to my car it said it was about 50 degrees this morning so that sounds about right um, the good news is, is that the sun's coming out, so it is starting to warm up around here. So that's good. It's not cloudy, it's not overcast. It's a beautiful day. Today I'm going to be talking about my cook kit in general. What I use when I'm out here, when I'm out in the field, when I'm doing bushcraft. And give you guys a complete rundown of what I have. But for right now I'm just going to take a hike here through the campground. See... How many people are here? Just get an idea. Especially from this past weekend, from Valentine's Day weekend. Funny, the last time I was here when I did a video, um, came hiking through here. There was actually barely anybody here. It was only maybe one person here, and that was the camp post. <laughs> so it's definitely going to be an interesting change. And already as I'm walking up along the main road that goes into the campground area, I see about a couple of motorhomes already. They're obviously in the hookup area. So that's good to see. I'll give you a count of how many people are actually here in a few moments. So thanks for thanks for joining me today. Hope you guys enjoy the video. So I'm not gonna keep hiking here and keep walking along. I'll bring you back a little later. Alright? Okay, so I'm making my way back right now toward the picnic area. Just finished my whole walk around through the camp grounds. There's about about 19 people in here. So it's definitely pretty cool. It is very cold. It is actually colder in the shade than it is in the sun. <laughs> I haven't been much of a winter camper, I don't know why. But I think it's because I usually don't have time during the winter time because of work and everything else. So yeah, there's about nine motorhomes and trailers in the um, in the hookups. And there's Two other ones further down that are not in the hookup. There's actually no, I'm sorry, there's actually three that are actually not hooked up. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna make my way back towards my where I'm gonna set up my cooking kit you guys a full run out of what I carry. I'll tell you one thing now. It is cold, but it's a beautiful morning. Okay, so we're gonna get this start we're gonna get this started off with the basic essentials as far as cooking is concerned. So we're gonna start off with the first couple of units that we have and that's with and that's uh obviously the base and fire so what we've got right here is you got your MSR canister for the MSR pocket rocket which is housed inside of this little guy this is a Stanley cookbox this is typically what I use to warm up water for when it comes to making coffee warming up water for my food a few things that I have inside I've got a small bottle of dishwashing fluid so I can actually know I have dish soap, so I can put this in my collapsible bucket there and use that to wash my dishes. Also got some hand sanitizer. And of course the MSR pocket rocket itself. This is a great little stove. Never had any problems with it whatsoever. Now I can use this with my frying pan as well as my pot if I want to, but Typically, I use this for this guy right here. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up. It's actually pretty simple. 
take the top off. I'm going to stick it inside here, that way I don't lose it. Put it over to the side. I'm going to put this guy right on there. I'm not going to turn it on just yet. I'm going to leave it the way it is. Put out the wings. Voila. Uh, one little change I actually made. Uh, the original piece that came onto this guy was uh, a little bit flimsy. It wasn't flimsy, but I've heard a lot of people talk about that the plastic does melt with the heat over time. So what I went ahead and did is I cut the piece off and hooked it up and put a key, used a um, D-ring on it instead. So that way it's easier for me to take it off and on to check the water, especially when it's nice and hot. So definitely a good way to do it. Second part to the to my cooking kit, as far as fire is concerned, as far as cooking, you've obviously seen this one before. We're going to be using this today. This is the 180 tack stove. I've got some wood guys and I've also got some charcoal in my pocket that we're going to use. We're going to use both of them today to do the to make the fire to make fire and get the stove ready. So I'm not going to talk about this too much. I've already talked about this a lot. A few other items that we do. So the next item that we have is obviously for drinking and warming up. Now. This is an item that I will not be using today, but I wanted to show it to you anyway. This is the GSI tea kettle. I love this little tea kettle. This is a very nice tea kettle. I was actually introduced to this by the end of Rondack Woodsman. So I went ahead and went out and purchased one. But it's a very nice tea kettle. I've used time. Primarily I use this little guy for making tea and hot cocoa. Don't use it for coffee that much. But still, love this little tea kettle. But again, I'm not using it today. So I'm going to go and set it off to the side. Another item that we obviously do have is, of course, you've seen, uh, you've seen this in one video, I believe. I don't know if I showed it to you. This is the GSI coffee press. It's a very nice coffee press. A lot of people know the workings of it, so I don't really have to describe it that much. But if I do, basically what you do is you put your coffee grounds down the bottom, throw the hot water in there, put use this guy to mix the coffee and the water together, and then you've got fresh hot coffee ready to, ready to drink. And believe me, on a day like today, this is definitely going to help make some coffee today. I'll go ahead and move the soap over by the uh, by my by my bucket that I'm using for my dishes. Now the next item that we have here, obviously you've seen this in a few other videos of mine. This is the GSI uh, Bugaro set. This is a very nice set. I actually like this. Comes in a very nice mesh bag with some paracord. You use it to hold it all together. Let's go ahead and pop that open here. Pull the bag out. So we've obviously got the frying pan. So you can see it's taking a good amount of heat from the from the, from the amount of cooking I've done with it. And you've also got your. Um, your adapter to hold the to hold the pan. So as you can see right there, got some hand soap and some salt and pepper. It comes with a the GSI burger set comes with a with a nice bowl. I don't use this that much, but the one thing I do use this for is what is something I'm going to be making today. So I'm going to leave this out. And of course, it also comes with this guy right here. This is the st the stew pot. It's a very small stew pot, but what you can do is that while this one is cooking on the fire, put this guy up on top like this, and voila, you got yourself an oven. You got yourself like a little like a little oven. Good thing about this unit too is that it's easy to cook with and it's a lot of fun. So we're gonna use the frying pan today, but not this guy. We'll try this another time. But I love this guy when it comes to doing beans and rice and all that. So, so, so like I said, got some hand soap, salt and pepper. I'm gonna leave these over to the side over here with uh, GSI. I'm gonna need it for later. Put that over to 
And as far as what we're going to be making today, today for the meal, we're going to be doing, um, we're going to be doing today some, some bacon, eggs, a little bit of, a little bit of ground beef burger for my hamburger. And we're also going to do some bannock bread this morning. So hope you enjoy the meal. Meantime, I'm going to go and get everything set up here, get some wood processed, get it ready. And uh, let's get this going. Forgot to mention one other thing too. I'm also gonna make some oatmeal too as part of my breakfast. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and let that go ahead and let that warm up.
Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Sure is good, fellas. Good way to start the morning. Okay, so we got the first half of breakfast done, which was the oatmeal. I'm going to use some of the oatmeal packets to actually help keep the fire going if necessary. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to make the bannock. I'm going to pour some olive oil into, the, into my pan here. So this is the bannock mixture I'm going to be using. As you can see, it's already pre-made and made it at home. One of a couple, there's a couple different ways you can carry bannock. Um, you can either carry it in the in the flower form in the bag. Another way you can also do is you can carry it in the dough form, which is what I have here. Although it does get very very sticky. And then the second, another way you can carry too is that if you have an old um, Nalgene water bottle, you can use that as well. I think where I screwed up with this batch is I didn't <laughs> bring enough flour with me, obviously. It's alright. I don't know, although it does work. Or not. 
Hey, it's bushcraft. You live and learn. I think for next time if I carry back this way, um, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put the, um, and I'll mix some flour, some more flour into the mixture. I'm going to go and keep cooking this up, bring you back later. Alright guys, back is done. A little bit overcooked, but it's alright. Now the next thing we're going to put on the frying pan right now we're going to do a hamburger patty And the next thing we're going to go ahead and do, after the hamburger patty is done, we're going to do some bacon.
The inside of the stove right now is very hot. You can feel it. However, I still want to keep feeding it, so I got another tree here that I'm gonna put in there. And then some more wood. I want to make sure I keep these. It has warmed up a little bit more, not too much. Did have to take my jacket off though, which was fine. Try a little bit of the bannock. It's nice and fluffy in the inside. Hmm. Pretty good actually.
Burger's cooking great, just about done. Tell you, it's gonna be a good breakfast. The grease from the burger is actually popping off the frying pan, so I'm going to try to do its thing there. All right, burger's done. Looks good. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some bacon. In case you're wondering what I've done, I don't have six slabs of bacon, that's your first thing that comes to your mind. Um, what I actually did before I left home last night was I took the bacon out, sliced it in half. That way it's easier to fit into the frying pan. Very clear sky today. Beautiful. bit of a breeze. Not a big breeze, but it is a good breeze. Oh, hello. Gotta watch out for that. Now, in case you're wondering, um, if I go out for a day hike, 
if I'm just going for a day, typically I will not bring the 180 packs though because, well, unless I have them in an area that has a campground, um, can't really make a fire in the woods. California's been on a high of fire alert because we haven't been getting much rain. But if I do go out to the woods, typically I'll, dang, I'll take the MSR pocket rocket with me, as well as my Stanley cook pot. I'll just make a simple meal. Usually I will not take the frying pan or my frying, my, my uh, boogaloo kit. But it depends what I'm going to cook and what I'm going to make. Incidentally, as far as uh, transporting food, you may have, I don't know if I've ever showed it to you before, but I'm using a uh, small lunch bill for, uh, for, uh, by uh, Northwest Territory. It's got a separator in it. So what I did was is that I um, took out the separator. It's an easy in and out fix. Um, I went ahead and um, I keep the eggs in there in a little egg thing, as well as a, um, as well as the dough for the bannock, plus the meat which was the bacon and of course the hamburger. Ooh, something under my finger, I don't know what it was. Ooh, ow. I mention this but containers are the keys containers are the one thing that can really help you especially if when you're out camping Bacon's are just about done. Okay, so while the last of the bacon is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and show you another, uh, the way I do the eggs. So let me go ahead and re-switch the camera position here. I'll bring I had to go turn the bacon a bit. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do 
got the X. That one. Oops. Two. So now what we're going to do first some pepper and a little bit of salt followed by a little bit of water What the water does is that it helps the eggs maintain their consistency. There we go. So that's ready. We're going to put them in the fry pan here. Okay guys, so right now we got the eggs cooking. In case you're wondering what the hissing sound is, it's coming from the uh, pocket rocket. I've got it lit and fired up again. I'm using it to warm up the water for my coffee.
Mm-mm-mm. Well, breakfast is just about ready, so bring you guys back when I get the table set up. Creamer. Followed by some sugar. Eggs are perfect. Look at that, nice and fluffy on the inside. Mm. Maybe just a little bit more cooked, but it's still really good. Mm. 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 Coffee's nice and hot. It's really, it's really tasty. Bacon's got a perfect crunch. Mm. It takes a knife and a fork to do the to do the burger, but. All in all, it's very, very good. Mm. Definitely what I need in the morning. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate you joining me today for breakfast. I hope this gives you an idea of what I, of the cook set that I use for when I'm out in the bush. Keep on push, keep on bushcrafting out there. Be safe. Have a safe journey. Thank you very much for joining me. Strength and honor. Peace and love. Hmm.
I knew I forgot something. From SB California, SB California Bushcraft. This is John saying, "Adios, amigos." Mm-mm-mm.